the Rural Economic Transformation Project, RITSA, which is an agriculture project. And uh, we're providing an amount of $30 million in uh, concessional IDA credit. The logic of this package is very simple. The $30 million that is going to the agriculture project is meant to help Liberia increase its own production of rice, of food, so that it is not dependent on imports. And this project is going to help farmers increase production in rice, have access to various equipment, seeds, and we're thinking about 24,000 hectares of additional rice is going to be planted so that in case there is a shortage of food in the country, the country can draw upon these reserves to be able to supply the domestic economy. Growing rice is going to take time. Meanwhile, there are poor households, vulnerable households that have been affected by the increase in the cost of food. How do we support them? How do we cushion them the impact of this increase in the prices of food? So the 20 million is primarily going to be focused to support these poor and vulnerable households with cash transfers so that they can be able to have access to affordable food in the meantime, even as the country is trying to improve the supply of, uh, uh, of, of food. So that's the logic of this financing package. The Ministry of Youth and Sports is the lead implementing ministry on this project, not just the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Lays and gender order ministry and also fisheries and you name it. I'm happy to report that the implementation of the current realized project is on track. With beneficiaries working in about 45 communities around Greater Monrovia, this is already making a significant impact in the lives of many like you. Today, I am delighted to witness the signing of this additional fairness that is intended to improve the lives of thousands of Liberians across the country. This additional fairness is expected to add the following to the real last project. One, change the project development objective, the EDO to reflect the expanded scope. Two, increase the geographic scope for additional counties. And under this additional financing, there will be an addition of 11 of the 15 counties. We add two new components under this additional financing. One will be the community livelihood and agricultural support class in the cash transfer program, and the cash transfer will be specifically done on the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, which will cost 16 million dollars. We're going to add the Ministry of Gender based on the additional financing as one of the implementing agencies, as I said earlier. And we extend the closing date of this project from August 30th, 2024 to December 30th. 2026. The Minister of Agriculture and myself, right in this room, convened a meeting of all the rice growers in the country. And I asked the basic question, I said, look, let's abstract from all the development plans. Let's forget about all the things we've done about rice in the last 10 years, the research, yeah, everything. Why are we not getting rice production right? Why? Why we cannot grow rice at a level where we reduce the import of rice. You guys are the guys in the sector. The president wants to transform the sector. We're not looking for consultants. You are the guys who have plenty of rice. What is the problem? Here we're not talking book and research. You guys are there. What do we need to do so that all of you are growing the quality and the quantity of rice in the country? Let's hear you. Is that we need land, lands that are cleared, flat, ready to grow on a large scale. If you ask me, that is the financing there, but that is our biggest constraint and challenge. We say, well, then let's go back to the EPD model. On that basis, we started putting one million, two million to work with, you know, to clear it. But I think we need to be big. This 30 million 
is the first step to looking at rice production in a holistic framework driven by the needs and the imperatives of the Liberian people and the government. So let's give the World Bank a big hand.